Hey, hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to discuss about test cases, like how you can write the test cases for your view model so that you cover all the possible scenario. So this is already an example that I have taken in multiple videos. So you can watch my videos on MVVM. Uh, I'll share the link below uh, and that will give you more idea about the each component that I'm using here. For this video, I'll just uh, cover the view model and the service part so that I can mock that and I can show you that how you can write a better test cases. So if you see uh, in this app, basically I have a view model which is being used by my uh, comment view. You can see here and on the appear the view model calls the fetch comment. And if you see here, I have used uh, dependency injection so that I can inject the mock dependency and that's the advantage of dependency injection that you get that you can write your test cases very easily um, by covering all the possible scenarios. So by default, I'm passing here the actual view service. So what my actual view service is doing, it's calling the actual API call. Now, when you are writing the test cases for your API call, you don't need to make the actual API call because you don't want to test that whether your server is giving you the proper data or not. That's not a part of your of your testability. Your test should be that once you have the data, how your REST functionality is behaving. Okay, so here uh, in the actual scenario, it is using this uh, command view service delegate. And if you see, this is a type protocol and where the command view service is conforming to this protocol. Okay. Now for writing the test cases, what I will do, I'll create a mock command view service, which will conform to the same protocol. Okay. So in the test cases, what I'm going to do, let's create a new file and call this as mock comment view service. Okay. And this class is also going to confirm to same delegate. So let me just copy and paste it here. Okay. And I'll just call this as mock comment view service. Now here in this case, let me import first the API cost of UI testable Okay, so now my module is imported and uh, this error goes away. But in this case, I don't need to call this API call, okay? Now sometimes what we can do, we can uh, write a method to fetch or read the data from the local. So here if you see, I have already taken my local JSON and we can read it here, okay? So let me just write the code to read that JSON file. Okay, so if you see this code right now, so what I'm doing, I'm reading the file which is my in the local JSON instead of making the API call. And then I'm performing the decoding and then I'm returning that object, okay? But if you try to understand this code little in more deep, you'll come to know that my, this error part is never going to be called. Why? because I have taken a valid JSON. This is a valid JSON. And this is never going to return me the error. If my JSON is valid, then why I will get in any time a failure in reading the local JSON or even the failure in uh, doing this decoding until unless I'm changing my uh, model properties. So this part is never going to be called. And this part is also never going to be called until and unless I'm changing my properties or something is going to be changed. Okay. So in the completion, in all the cases, what will happen that it will return you always a result. It will never return you the network error. But when you have to write the test cases, you should have both the scenario, right? You should have the scenario where you should get the result. And you should also have the scenario where you should get the network error. Okay. But in this part, what will happen? It will always give you the result. Okay. So instead of doing like this, will not directly return the JSON file from here. We will take an object here called, let's say result. Okay. And this is going to be of type. My result that is going to be returned from here. Okay. 
Now, why I have taken this? I'll tell you in a moment. But now, I'm going to delete all this code from here. And instead, I will be just returning my result here. Now, as this result and this result type is same, so you will not have any error here. Okay. But till now, I'm not reading my my localization file. That means that this data right now, which is nil because I'm using a forceful unwrapping. So it will crash somewhere. So this mock comment view services is still incomplete. Okay. Now we'll come to this later that how we are going to populate this data. So this mock comment view service where you are going to use it. This is going to be used when you are creating the view model object. Okay. So this is my view model class. So here, what I'm going to do, let me try to write a function. And here I will test uh, API failure. Okay. Now, in the case of API failure, what should happen that your result, you, you should not have any comment view model list, right? So here first, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create an object of view model. So let's say that where view model and this is going to be my comment view model, right? So comment view model. And here you need to pass what by default, it will take the actual comment view service, but here we need to pass the mock comment view service. Okay. That means we need to create a object of mock comment view service as well. Okay. So let me create that. So where mock service equals to mock comment view service. Okay. So now I have created this mock service and this I can pass it here. So see here we have the parameter Where is that parameter. This is comment view service. So here I can pass this as mock service. Okay. Now what I have to taste basically that I have to taste that uh, my in the view model, if you see, if I have a success API call, then I should have the data in the comment side right? because in the success call, I'm putting the uh, object into my comments. If it is failure, then that means that this should be empty. That's the simple test cases that I need to test success. It ha will have some sort of data failure. It will not have any data. So let I'm testing failure. That means I'm expecting here that should dot comments dot is empty. So this should be true, right? Now in the mock service, we have already taken that result. So here in the re result, now we are going to provide the data. Okay. Now what is this result that we just took here? This is a result type. That means I can provide the success case also, and I can give the failure cases also. So in this case, as I'm testing for failure, so you can pass failure and you can pass any of the error because currently I'm not bothered about what kind of error uh, I have to taste. I'm just tasting that it should have no data or decoding error or anything. And now let's call the fetch method. So sut dot fetch comments. Okay. And once I call this method after that, this should be empty because we are passing the result as error here. Now let me run it and see what happens. So if you see the test got succeeded, no problem anywhere. Okay. Now let's try to copy and paste and uh, try to taste the success scenario. Okay. Now in the case of success, we have to pass here the success thing. And this part, I should be expecting some data. Now here I need to pass success and then the model. Okay. Now let's go to our mock comment view service and change the method that we have written here. So instead of this local JSON file, I'll just call it here comments. And this is going to return me a comment model. Okay. And we are reading the files from here, reading the data. So, and after that, what I'm going to do, uh, return, try JSON decoder dot decode. 
and this should decode on the basis of comment model and this should be of type data this data what we are getting okay and uh, let remove this line I don't need any error and we are done with this function okay and uh, some error okay I need to pass the self okay now let's go to our view model test and let me remove this also so that this warning goes away and here I'll pass this as mock service dot comments okay but here we need to pass the actual uh, comment but here this is uh, optional so what I'm going to do let me use a guard statement that if the comments is there then only run this uh, test case if there is no comment then there is no need of running this test cases and then pass this comment here now let me change this xct assert statement uh, that uh, um, this count is equals to, equals to 500 because I, have, I modified this uh, JSON and made it smaller so the count might differ so instead of comparing to 500 I'll just compare that it should not be empty okay here the test cases got failed okay now what can be the reason so one of the reason can be that see you are fetching the comments so what will happen that it will go and it will uh, read the JSON from here convert that to uh, data and then if you see here uh, in the fetch comments we are using here dispatch queue dot main dot asynchronous block okay so it may happen that this line of code will get called before this whole process get finished and that's the reason that this test cases in some scenario it may give you success it may give you failure okay now to solve this uh, issue we have another concept which is called wait for expectations so what you can do here you can create uh, expectations here let's say that I call this as XC taste expectation and you can describe something let's say that we are calling it as a fetching comment and after that what we have to do we have to call this method and generally what happens that once you call the method and in the completion handler block we tell the compiler that our expectation has been fulfilled and by the time we wait for the expectations to be finished okay so here we can uh, for example we can use this uh, wait and uh, here we can define the expectations Let the, let's say that in our case we have this as expectation and I can give some time frame let's say that two second or five second whatever you want okay now once uh, this fetch comment has successfully faced how we will come to know because we don't have any uh, completion handle block here so what is basically here uh, happening that once we call this it is calling this comment view service that means in our case it will be mock comment view service and this object is going to be modified if I have the success scenario that means I can listen to the changes on that object and how we can do that we can write something like where cancelable and this is any cancelable so I'm using this because uh, no we are using this uh, pub list so we are going in, in the DAX on the combined framework okay and what we can do we can write cancelable equals to SUT dot we are going to listen for the comments okay on top of this we'll write draw first and then dot sync and this will call the value whenever or this will give you the value whenever there is any change okay so we can write here value in and once this part of code is executed that means we are sure that we have the data okay so inside this I can fulfill my expectations okay and uh, here we are fetching the comment and then we are comparing this XC assert is not equal to empty okay now let's run this again and this time I hope that within 5 seconds we should be able to 
complete this operation. And now you can see that both the test cases got succeeded. Okay. Now wait for expectation is a good uh, approach. But here if you see that I'm adding some sort of timer. Now let's say that your function is taking 0.2 second or 0.1 second or some sort of time interval. Now in for demo purpose this code looks great. But think of a scenario when you have very large project and you have uh, 500 to 800 test cases. Let's say that out of that if even 300 are using wait for expectation and they are taking 0.1 or 0.2 second of delay. It may happen that the the if you're using some CICD tools to build uh, uh, some pipeline, your pipeline will take more time to run all the test cases. Okay, so we can avoid this wait for expectations until unless it is not required. Okay, so it's good, but it's kind of a burden also. Now, to avoid this, that means that our previous code should work, right? So this code is fine, but let me switch back to the previous code also and let's see that how I can make that also workable okay let me remove this all expectations okay and I'll just give this code in commented here for the reference now here the main problem that was happening was due to this asynchronous flaw now if I comment this line then see it's pretty much a straightforward process. Now, now if I run the same test cases which was failing earlier, this would pass now. If you see this time. Now if you see that both the test cases got succeeded. Okay, so now one thing let's discuss more that how can we check that how much code coverage that we have achieved here. So if you go here, you can see that the test here has built, but it's not showing coverage. Okay. So to see the coverage, you have to come to edit schema and then go to test. And here you have this code coverage. Just check this box. Okay. And now just run it one more time. And this time it should generate the coverage. You can see that the coverage factor came here. Okay. Now let the test cases pass successfully and we can see the coverage. So as we are testing the both failure and the success, so I'm expecting that my view model should have a good amount of coverage. Okay, so now it is done. Let's go to coverage. And here, if you see my comment view model, see it is covering 100% because I'm covering all the success and the failure scenario. And even the service class is having 100% test coverage. Okay. Uh, any other thing? Um, I'm not writing the test cases for race type EBA client because the test cases that I have written was for view model and for the service. And both my service and the view model is having 100% coverage. So that's way how you can write the test cases and cover 90% or 85% or even in the some cases 100% to make sure that whatever the thing that you are writing is perfect. So that's all for today's video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed the channel then please do subscribe it. Thanks. Thank you.